Right angle here. It's mm. good. Got the light. Oh, I hate the fucking light. Mm. Let's see. Got a couple banners here. Uh, So today we're going to go over some good ways to train at home um, and debunk some of the home training myths. Uh, first, I'm going to do my shit. <sighs> So also, so I'm going to go through some of the exercises in uh, my HIT Home Workout program, which I normally don't post the links uh, for sale for it. I kind of use it as a, kind of like a free promotional thing, but the link is in the bio and I have a sale on it. It's only 37 bucks. There's like 40 videos in it. Tons of exercises you can do with no equipment, minimal equipment, body weight time static contraction, TRX, all kinds of stuff. So if you guys are stuck training at home, the hit home workout, the link in the description will give you the most effective home workout you can possibly do. Because of course it's based off of like, actual logic and physiology and uh, not some bullshit Mike retard is retail says. All right. Um, let's see. So, we're going to take some questions too, but first, but first I kind of want to show you guys what the hit home workout looks like. Um, and go ahead and ask me for, you know, well, I'll take questions about exercises you can do at home for particular muscle groups. Uh, don't ask me for a full home workout to do, cause I'm not going to do that because that's literally in the link in the description, but if you want some um, examples of exercises for a particular muscle group to do at home, just uh, you can go ahead and ask that. All right, so let's see. Save. I'm going to show you guys what's in the HIT home workout here. So I finally decided to like release it, I guess. I normally just kind of, I don't really like sell it, give it away usually. Or save it um, for my VIP people. So, Do a bunch of extra bullshit because I a new computer. Oh my god! Hold on one second. <clears throat> Are you serious, guys? Stay in. I'm gonna be back in one second because I have to quit and reopen because it's a new computer. Hold on one second.
All right, I'm back. <clears throat> so let's see. If I can get to where I want to be. I gotta come on, dude. I don't know. So I'm gonna share the screen and show you what's in this hit home workout. So a lot of people like to train at home. Um, which is fine, but most of the shit you're doing at home, it's not going to work. Burpees, bullshit. Goblet squats, bullshit. Uh, Sit-ups, bullshit. A crunch is fine, but a sit-up is stupid. Peloton workouts, bullshit. They, you know, they can appear to be somewhat challenging, but they're not stimulating anything. Uh, especially beyond the first couple of workouts. So my hit home workout has obviously a couple of uh, principal exercises on just basic, uh, basic principles. Then we've got a bunch of upper body exercises that you can use light barbells for dumbbells, very light dumbbells. You don't really need any heavy ones. Train all the major muscle groups. We've got some body weight movements. Um, we've got time static contraction exercises in there. There's a couple more I'm going to be adding as well. Um, uh, I also added some TRX exercises that you can do. Just <laughs> very few that are actually good. Pretty much there are four. You know, we have a TRX squat, which is basically just a bodyweight squat, stabilizing yourself. A triceps exercise with a TRX, a biceps exercise with a TRX, which isn't bad. And uh, TRX high row. That's pretty much all I found that can be effective with that stupid thing. But, you know, we've got upper body exercises, lower body exercises, TRX exercises. Um, I think there's like, how many videos on this sucker? Um, I'm not really sure. There's probably, Let's see if this actually opens up. There is, I don't know, five modules. Now, there's a bunch of videos um, showing all kinds of stuff. So if you guys want to work out at home, this is what you're going to want to do. It's going to cover every major muscle group. Um, you know, you can get a good physique at home if you know what you're doing. And what this is going to do is show you what to do. Obviously, you're, you're very likely going to get a better workout in a gym because the machine is just a good tool for helping you generate intense muscular contraction contractions so um but if you want to train at home this is how you're going to want to do it this is how you're going to want to do it um i also got a couple more time static contraction exercises i'm going to add to it as well uh i have a couple for the upper body a couple for the couple for the legs shoulders stuff like that um do some uh, i'm gonna add some videos on how to do time static contraction because it's very effective. Keep in mind, you don't need to move for exercise. You know, the purpose of exercise is to challenge your muscles. Well, what is the function of your muscles? The function of your muscles is to produce force. The function of your muscles is not to produce movement. Your, the force which your muscles produce can permit movement, but it's also used to prevent movement. I'm using my muscles right now to prevent myself from falling forward. You know, we're, we're doing it all day. So with that in mind, time static contraction training is very effective if you do it right. All right, let's see. Um, so if you guys have questions about training at home, that's kind of what we're going to cover today. Again, uh, for 37 bucks on sale is my hit home workout. That's what you see kind of on the screen here. Just a big video series of a bunch of different exercises you can do at home with uh, demonstration and explanation of how to do them. So it's very straightforward. And what you're going to want to do with this is some people ask me, do I do all the exercises? No. You want to choose one to two exercises per muscle group. Um, so keep that in mind, too. Um, I believe I put a video on. Yeah, I should probably. I'm going to put a video on explaining how to construct a workout. This is not a workout plan. This is not a workout program. You need to program and plan your workouts based on your ability to adapt and recover.
which there's a video in here that explains that. Um, you can't be spoon fed shit your whole life. You need to be taught how to do this stuff and then learn how to adjust the training based on you. So this is not a program. You don't go through all the exercises every workout. That's crazy. So how would one go about training neck? Do you have any exercise demonstrations for safe neck training? No. I do not teach the general public how to treat how to train neck because um, it's kind of a liability. In my VIP coaching group, I teach the anatomy and physiology of neck training and show how to do it. But I do not do it for the general public. Um, do I know any source I could check out? Not really. I kind of learned this from my mentors. There's no videos on it to my knowledge. But if you want to learn things like neck training, um, join my VIP uh, coaching group. Um, I'll put the link in the bio. Coaching group. But yeah, it's just something I'm not going to. No, it's 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 too complicated to, you know, do a video on and rely people to do it correctly. Most people can't even do a fucking body weight squat correctly, uh, let alone train their neck. So, I'm not really comfortable doing videos teaching that stuff. Let's see. But yeah, guys, keep the questions going for any kind of. Um, if you have questions about home exercises. Oh, great. I really forgot my password. Let's try this one. One second. Oh boy, we got a hell of a storm coming now. What is this even under? One second, I'm just trying to log into this stupid thing. Got a new computer. Computer today, and now all my passwords are gone. Oops, no, that's not what I want to do. Password. Let's see, questions. I'll do this after. Opinions on Arthur Jones pre exhaustion principles, they're pointless. Pre-exhaustion um, has been proven not to provide any additional benefit compared to just training to actual muscle failure. Some of the things Arthur Jones and Mike Mentor recommended were wrong. Okay. Sometimes we learn things. You guys need to stop. You guys need to learn how to how to think critically and realize that some things sometimes are wrong, like the majority of exercise information in the fitness industry. This is really fucking wasting my time right here. This is insane. What? This is our, what the fuck? I'm gonna buy a new fucking computer. <laughs> I can't even get into my shit. What? I literally just reset it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, whatever. Just gonna answer questions. Uh, Jay, have you read Jeremy Lone Key on ResearchGate? No. I think maybe. I don't know. Can you explain how hit strength training can improve quad knee tendonitis 
front delt tendonitis. It's not. <laughs> tendonitis, itis means inflammation. If you have um, tendonitis, it means you have inflammation of the tendon. Um, if you get stronger without fucking your joints up in the process, then you will be more resistant to tendonitis. But strength training is not going to fix tendonitis. You need to let it rest and heal. Legs, legs, legs. All right. So for legs, um, there's one exercise in the hit home workout. I don't have a demonstration of it uploaded. Um, there are like four, maybe five leg exercises in the hit home workout. One is a, a time static contraction exercise, which is harder than any squat and any leg press you'll ever do in your life. The time static contraction leg exercise in this hit home workout is the, going to be the best leg exercise you've ever done in your life. And it doesn't require any equipment. All right. Um, I'll just leave it at that. Back. Well, the muscles in your back, horizontal pull, vertical pull. So probably the best home exercise for your back is going to be a chin up or a pull up. Um, but you can also do a, uh, like an inverted, like a flat, uh, row with a, a TRX thing. Um, what's this, what's this exercise called? Let me see if I can find it. All right, let's see. Oh my God. Of course I'm not signed in. God, that's fucking annoying. What? I don't remember any of my passwords. Oh. Well, apparently I can't show you anything because I can't get any, any of my shit. What? Is this a... Shit. I'm going to do two-step verification. You're going to be fucking kidding me. I, I hate technology. I hate technology. I hate it so fucking much. It's insane. That's why my old Mac computer was a piece of utter shit. So I had to spend 1500 bucks on a brand fucking new one today. That is also a piece of shit. Man, you gotta love technology. So another good uh, home back exercise would be um, this one. This one's pretty good. Oh, fucking send me notifications. All right. First of all, do not do anything one arm or one leg at a time if you can avoid it. There is literally no benefit at all to doing a one leg, one arm, anything. Um, which is weird because you see in gyms. So this is a good inverted row. That's what it's called. So you see in gyms with hammer strength equipment or any piece of equipment that moves unilaterally, people will use the equipment unilaterally. And it's stupid. Um, the, the purpose is not to purposely use them unilaterally. The, the purpose is to load the muscles evenly. So this is a good, obviously you don't want to do it like this fucking retard is going to do it, but this is a good I exercise for your back. Why it's so great, some variations, and how to program the movement. Now let's Did dive you really into made an the three steps video on to how the to perfect inverted row. Bar. One thing to note before actually initiating the row itself <laughs> is to somewhat retract the scaps. So similar how we do in a pull-up and Retract the scaps and engage the upper back. down the and movement. engage the upper Shut back. We're going to do the same thing up. for an inverted Dude, row. We're going to initiate, thinking about driving just the like elbows to the floor. And we are going to try to get our way. chest as high as anyway, we can this is a deep, to the barbell. One important cue to remember is to lead the chest 
Just lower and yourself not with slowly. The hips. So you don't want your lower hips yourself. extended up and trying to oh, row. Look, That's going to shift your mechanics. Up. So lead with but, um, the chest. This is a pretty now, good back it's important exercise. If you do it properly, not like this horse looking retard bitch. Anyway, what else? Jay, do you do no fat? What? No, I jerk off on my girlfriend's face every day. What are you talking about? <laughs> so, so fucking no fat thing, semen retention thing. You guys are all just a bunch of fucking dorks. All right. If you guys are literally, <laughs> if you guys think your life is going to improve by not jerking off, you're a fucking dork. Your life will improve with discipline. Not by doing some dumb shit like avoiding jerking off. Oh, my God. How stupid. Anything to pre-exhaust quads? No, you don't need to pre-exhaust quads. I have a 30-degree ramp for inclined squats, which targets quads more. No, it doesn't necessarily. But any form of squat seems to guess my entire body. Exactly. You don't need to really do anything special to the quads. You don't need to pre-exhaust them. If you just did a squat, or a leg press, you're going to work everything in the lower body effectively. You're not going to need anything additional for the quads. Want to know why? Because you're not a bodybuilder. But he said without any workout equipment, so a pull-up bar wouldn't count. Well, it's just a bar. You don't need a pull-up bar. You could just find a bar. You could find something hanging from the ceiling. Let's see. Favorite exercises for grip and forearms. I just like doing a wrist uh, flexion and wrist extension with a barbell or a dumbbell. That's all. Oh, shit. Options, ideas for safely leg training with a barbell to failure without a power rack. Dude, if you don't have bar catches, don't train to failure. With squats. Come on. Um, no. Uh, what, what could you possibly do? There's nothing you could possibly do. Unless you have something to catch the bar when you fail. I don't have any, I don't have any <laughs> secrets. Kettlebell. Kettlebell is the biggest piece of shit training tool next to the resistance band ever invented. I will never, ever recommend any exercise with a stupid kettlebell. Why are burpees bulk? Because burpees do not deeply and significantly fatigue any one particular muscle group. They just kind of fatigue a bunch of them. And they don't fatigue any of them enough to stimulate long-term adaptive improvements. That's why. Why are sit-ups stupid if going to failure? Because a sit-up and a crunch are different. A crunch is when you're contracting your abdomen and then uncontracting your abdomen. A sit-up is when you fling your body up and then fling it back down. That's, that's what I mean by sit-ups. Rice bucket to thicken wrist or put your hands in petrol. I really hope that's a joke because if it's not, you might be the dumbest motherfucker I think I've ever met. Let's see. Burpees don't get you to failure. It's not a strength exercise. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, I mean, there's a million <laughs> things wrong with a burpee. It's not that it doesn't get you to failure. It's that it doesn't continuously load any particular muscle group. It shifts tension between a bunch of muscle groups, and it doesn't work any particular muscle group very deep. It also uses a lot of momentum. All right. How can one set up to do a chest press with adjustable dumbbells safely to failure? You're going to probably need a partner. Um, there's no way to my knowledge that you can reach failure with a dumbbell. And I mean, what, what could you possibly do? Um, no, I mean, you're probably just going to need a partner. But the thing is, you shouldn't really be doing weight that's so heavy. You could reach failure and then just drop them on the floor. You do that.
Use machines or weights in the gym. Machines have weights on them, bro. I really hate traditional weights, and I don't want to go to failure with weights. They're all the same. Every tool is exactly the same if you deeply inroad your muscle. Um, some tools, like a well-designed machine, is safer and more efficient than a lot of traditional barbell exercises. But they're no more effective. And neither are barbell exercises any more effective than machine exercises. It all comes down to how you use the tool. You know, um, a chainsaw is a terrific tool for cutting down a tree. Very bad tool for cutting a piece of steak. It's how you use the tool. Already talked about this. Um, they're wrong. Yeah, I mean, you can pre you can't pre exhaust. That's the thing. It's like, so the pre exhaust thing. Where is it? This was under the impression that when you're doing something like a row or a chest press, that your smaller muscle groups, the triceps and the biceps, were failing before the bigger muscle groups, your chest and your back. The truth is the muscles in your chest and your back are no bigger than your biceps and triceps. Um, according to Drew Bay, actually, one of the biggest muscle groups in your entire body is the triceps. So when people think that they're failing because their triceps are dying first and they're the smallest muscle group, it's wrong because they're not the smallest. Uh, if you took the overall volume of the muscles in your triceps and compared them to most people's uh, pec muscles, they'd be larger than your chest. That's why pre-exhaustion is stupid because they used to think that the triceps and the biceps were smaller than the chest and the lats, but they're not. That's why it's stupid. Pedro Morales. Looks like you got the Golden Era Home Workout Advanced Arm Training. Cool. Um, yeah. Sick. It's, gonna, it's one of the best workouts you're ever going to do. Trust me. All right. Let's see. So dumbbells and TRX bands are the things required for home workout. They're not required. There are exercises for every major muscle group with different tools. Some... I mean, there are plenty with just body weight, but then there's also some with dumbbells and some with TRX. There's a bunch of different exercises. You don't need any equipment, but there are exercises involving equipment. It's just a huge amount of exercise that you can pick and choose from. Nothing beats high bar back squat for leg power. What the fuck? You must be new because... Nothing you said makes sense. What is leg power? Tell me what leg power is, if, if you don't mind. More TSC in the programs. Yeah, guys, I got a folder right here of TSC exercises. Um, I just haven't uploaded them yet. No other way around. Oh, God. All right, let's see. Is it true eccentric training is more growth stimulating? No. What if at least I finish up my time under tension with eccentric lifting? No, that's wrong too. Um, the eccentric phase of the, the uh, um, exercise is not more stimulating. That's silly method. Hopefully his password is not password. No. <laughs> no. All right, Jay, if body weight exercises are less demanding than machines, they're not. Who said that? And free weights. Who said, wait a minute. See, and this is the thing about the fitness industry. Many people have wrong beliefs that, are, that result in more wrong beliefs down the road. Like this particular question, body weight exercises are less demanding than machines. No, they are not at all. Have you ever done a chin-up? Chin-up, uh, personally, I think a chin-up is 
way harder than any pull over, any pull down. All right, let's see. In freeway, should we use techniques? When te no, 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 no. Why, why do you think that bodyweight exercises are less demanding? Well, like, that doesn't make any sense. Maybe the way you do them, but the way they are demonstrated in my hit home workout, link in description, they're fucking hard. You know, it, it, as big and strong as I am, push-ups are hard, really hard. Chin-ups, very hard. Dips, very hard. These are really hard exercises. Mm. All right, any good homework to lower resting heart rate? Yeah, so I posted today. It was funny. So I was doing a... So you'll probably be able to see it. My resting heart rate is 45. Okay, that's like Olympic level athlete. Okay. My resting heart rate is 45. That is Olympic athlete level. And I have never, ever done any cardio. Never. Resting heart rate is a huge indicator. A low resting heart rate is a huge indicator of cardiovascular health. How do I have a low a resting heart rate of 45 at 210 pounds without doing cardio? Do you want to know why? Because cardio is a myth. Intense strength exercise, which is what I'm going to start calling it now after Drew corrected me. Intense, st intense strength exercise is all you need to improve your cardiovascular health. Hence, my resting heart rate. 45. So what's your homework? Strength train. <laughs> Build muscle. What is your best budget meal choice for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? For breakfast, um, eggs and grits. <laughs> for lunch, ground turkey and rice. For dinner, Round turkey and rice. <laughs> it's pretty easy, actually. I want to hear about, talk about David Goggins, such a clown. Well, uh, yeah, Goggins is motivational cringe. Dude, I agree with you. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, Goggins is crazy. <laughs> David Goggins is just a crazy guy. He's just a crazy guy. Um, but the problem is a lot of people might take his shit literally and start running 100 miles a week and kind of fuck themselves up. But uh, I don't really have anything to say about David Goggins. He was ne I never really liked him. He was never – he never really – like when I first heard him, I'm like, all right, yeah, it's kind of cool, but you're obviously fucking insane. Um I don't know, but if it may, I don't know, if it gets people fired up to hear him, good. Um, but I wouldn't really take anything thing he says, like, literally. You mentioned a few times on occasion that some of the stuff Mike Metro got raw or wrong, which would those things be? Uh, I went over it a bunch of times. I don't really feel like it today, but I'll go back if there are another good questions. What's your opinion on reverse hypers? Reverse hyper, what? Huh? Reverse hyper what? Reverse hypers for what? You know, hyperextension is just like a, a function of a limb, right? You can hyperextend everything. Oh, is this like for glutes? Why do they call it reverse hyper? It's just like reverse hip extension. Oh my God. People are so fucking dumb. Hyper? Reverse hyper? Why are they calling this reverse hyper extension? 
You're not hyperextending anything. You shouldn't be hyperextending anything. You never want to hyperextend fucking anything during exercise. That means you're extending it too much. <laughs> no, dude, that's just a that's just a a, hip, a reverse hip extension. Uh, what's my opinion? Eh, dumb. Top three favorite books that informed you most in life. Outwitting the Devil, Napoleon Hill, Body by Science, Doug McGuff. Um, Millionaire Fastlane by, what's his name? Let me go into my audiobooks. Millionaire Fast Lane by MJ DeMarco. That's one of them. By the by, science, Doug McGuff. Outwitting the Devil, Napoleon Hill. Those are my top three. Wouldn't a time static contraction deadlift or dumbbell deadlift be better than a unilateral? Yep. Should we do two sets because of sticking points? Depends. Depends on the exercise. Um, if there is a, a sticking point in the exercise, uh, you may not need to do. It depends on how intense you push yourself. You may not need to do two sets, but a breakdown set might not, probably wouldn't hurt. All right. Gary Mercado. The hit home workout is legit. I've been home with a torn Achilles. Wow. This program has got me to the best shape of my life at 40 years old. There you go. Thanks, Gary. I appreciate that. Um, that testimonial. All right. Let's see. Do you recommend doing chest try in the same workout? Yeah. Are you new? Isolate chest. In the, I'm not even reading that. <laughs> like, if you're, like, super new, um, go watch a couple videos first. Australian pull-up. They are great, but it's hard to reach failure to overload them. Oh man, I'm not I'm gonna think this is really fucking dumb. Why are people coming up with new exercises? We've already got oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, those are fine. Yeah, they, or some people call those an inverted row. Yeah, they're fine. Um, you can reach failure. Yeah, well, the thing is, yeah, you've got you don't really You've got a lot of mechanical leverage. You may not need a weighted vest. Um, I mean, you could. Just go a little slower. Make it harder. So pre-exhaustion isn't worth it. Don't worry about pre-exhausting quads. Yeah, don't. Let's see. I've been doing one set to failure inverted rows, and it's helping do pull-ups. Um, probably not. <laughs> it, it's well, if you're getting stronger, um, if you're getting stronger, then you know, pull-ups are going to improve. But I mean, if you really want your pull-ups to improve, you have to practice pull-ups. Okay. Um, well, yeah. Opinions on omni contraction and infotonic sets. Just another way to skin the cat. Are they any more effective? No. Um, Mike Mentor was a big proponent of those. Um, they're fine. I mean, you know, just uh, it basically it's like, what car do you want? Mercedes, BMW, Porsche. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's like they're all. I mean, they're all the same. Really, you know, you go to luxury cars, Mercedes, BMW, uh, Lexus, Porsche. They're, they're all nice. It's, it's preference at that point, right? Same thing with this kind of stuff. It's just preference. Why can overtraining cause a loss of muscle? Because catabolism is exceeding anabolism. Um, the rate of tissue breakdown, if you're overtraining, is going to exceed the rate of tissue growth, resulting in more overall tissue breakdown. Catabolism, loss of muscle. 
Exercise is a stress. It's a huge stress. One of the most stressful things your body can do if you do it right. Too much of it, too much stress. And we all know what happens from too much stress. People die. You don't die from doing too much exercise, but. All right, let's see. Dumbbell shoulder press or barbell press for shoulders both seated. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Heavy duty resistance bands, good or bad? Horrible, stupid, retarded shit. Don't even waste your time. They're for girls. Resistance bands are for girls. <laughs> you recommend shake weights to train fat ability? 100%. Use discount code JVincent at shakeweight.com for 15% off your first shake weight purpose and be ready to yank your cock off your body. You're that so strong. Would you avoid bench press? Yes. Both flat, decline to use machines? Yes. Dumbbells? Um, yes. The problem with the bench press is, first of all, a lot of people use too much range of motion. Second of all, it's a technical skill. Third of all, it does not, it does not adduct the humerus. Bring the arm from outside to in. If you put your hand, take your hand, put it on your chest, and do this you'll feel your chest contract because the function of the pec is humeral adduction. There is no humeral adduction in the bench press. That's why it sucks. Oof. All right. Yeah, I get this question a lot. Rather than doing a complete hair workout every four days, could you do two exercises every day and basically work out just for five minutes every day? Yes, could, but it's going to be way less effective. Want to know why? The purpose of exercise is stress. This stress triggers um, chemical reactions in your body that interact with particular receptors that turn on genes in your body to tell your muscle to grow. So when you have an adequate amount of stress, you have an adequate amount of stimulation for these receptors and the in, an adequate amount of turning on these genes. If you're doing two exercises a day, there's not going to be enough accumulation of lactate uh, mechanical stress, muscle damage to really turn on the growth mechanism as high as it can go. So you're just going to get worse results. I have to turn this light off. This shit blinds me. I don't know how people do that. So you'll get way, way worse results doing it that way. Way worse. What do you normally do for hip extension in the gym if you don't like stiff leg deadlift? Leg press or a squat? Right? Already addressed this. By the way, exercises are not less taxing. Why do you think that? Could you please comment and, and tell me why you think body weight exercises are less taxing? It's a very weird assumption you're making, and it's wrong. It's very wrong. All right, discovered your channel a month ago. Thank you. Looking forward to starting a big five with slow reps to failure. Don't do a big five. That's body by science. A big five is a good starting point, but it's not necessarily optimal. But I have developed right knee pain because of traditional three-set workout. Uh yeah, that's probably the way you're performing. When would be safe to start? You can start whenever you want. I've trained people with cancer. I've trained people in wheelchairs. You can start whenever you want. Um, you just want a volume and frequency that you can recover from and adapt to. Um, it's probably going to be a good idea for you to join my coaching in this case. If I can get the freaking... Let me see if I can get the link in there trying to do it on my new computer, but I have no passwords, so I can't do it. 
The other computer was too slow. This one appears to be fast. We'll see how it goes. And I got this ugly green color, if you can see it. It's hideous. And I'm, I'm kind of pissed I got it because it's so ugly. It looked cool in the store. It looked like kind of like a military green. And I got it home. It looks... Ugh. I don't like it. I might bring it back. I wanted to get a gold one. You know, like Golden Air Physique. They have a gold. They have these new Macs. They make them in gold. I can't really see it. Um, they make them in gold. And I was like, man, that would match cool. But no. Do you recommend Drew Bay's hit list? Fuck yes, I recommend Drew Bay's hit list. I've been a member of his hit list for four years. <sighs> yeah. The thing about Drew Bay's hit list, if you are interested in learning in great detail, exercise, physiology, application, all that stuff, Drew Bay's hit list, you will not learn more about exercise anywhere else in the entire world than Drew Bay's hit list or my VIP coaching. Um, do you accept international clients for your VIP coaching? Yeah, I would say about... 75% of my clients are international. Ace, be quiet and lay down. You already peed. Are you going to make videos debunking claims made by Mike Israel? Yes. Um, I actually I actually think I might have Drew Bay on with me to do that a couple of times. That'll be really funny. Uh, I was talking to Drew today. We're going to go out to, in March, we're going to go out to the Arnold Classic. We're going to meet up out there. And um, we're gonna, I want to try to get Mike Israel to debate Drew. <laughs> it, I, I would bet a thousand bucks that as soon as Drew started to debate Mike Israel, he would get emotional and mad and storm off. <laughs> and Drew will sit there just stoically dismantling every single stupid belief he has. And Mike Israel would stomp off like a little 14-year-old girl. Guarantee it. Because I don't know if you could tell, Mike Israel is a major bitch. Major bitch. You could tell by the way he talks. Like, he's such a pussy. And um, Drew is not a pussy. <laughs> Drew would rip his fucking logic apart. And I really, really want to see it. I might offer Mike Israel 500 bucks just, just so I can film them debate for like fucking two minutes. Probably end Mike Israel's career, which is good because he's an idiot. If someone has knee pain, would it be best to position feet higher on board? No. If you have knee pain, you just want to limit the range of motion. Not even. If you just go slow, your knee's going to be fine. If your knee is starting to hurt during exercise, the weight's too much. You're changing direction too fast. You're just going too fast. You don't need to do any, anything specific. Because you usually cannot load bodyweight exercises as you can with free weights and machines. Bodyweight exercises are also hard to modify according to one's strength. Everything you said is wrong, actually. You absolutely can load body weight. You can, all, you can absolutely load your body as much as with machines. I broke my ankle and now have one leg slightly smaller than the other. Any recommendation on how to get them to equal out of training them? I don't think training them is going to equal them out. I think the the your bone structure is why they're different lengths now, right? Training is not going to change that. Is fatiguing your muscles progressively a skill? The more experienced people can fatigue their muscles more quickly? Yeah, that's actually true. You'll notice the first workout you ever do compared to the hundredth workout you ever, ever do, the hundredth workout will be much more challenging, much more taxing, partially because your ability to fatigue your muscles is going to improve. Also, you're going to be using more load and you're going to be adding muscle. So more tissue is going to be stressed. So yeah, that's true. 
All right, since I started HIIT training, my joint pain went away. Is that part of HIIT training? Yeah, yeah. Unless it's something like tendonitis, you know, the previous question, individual had, you know, tendonitis in the elbow and knee. If it's bad tendonitis, you really just pretty much gotta let it, let it heal. I mean, you know, I, I can't really give a general recommendation for things like tendonitis. Um, I've trained people with tendonitis and fixed it, but you know, there's so many different factors at play. You have to be training someone in person. But yeah, your your advice will go, or your um your pain will go away. Now let's see. Any advice for things to do, drink, or eat for bed to help sleep? Um, not really. What I recommend not eating is sugar and alcohol. Um. Anything else is probably fine, but no, I mean, if you eat sugar before bed, you're going to have restless, bad sleep, alcohol, same thing. All right, let's see. Facts. Cardio is a myth for sure. I've been training for 3.4 years in the same gym. I've seen the same people doing cardio thinking they'll get fit. And guess what? They still look the same. Fat. I know, dude. I know. I know. It's so weird. It's so weird that like people go for years and years and years and still be fat. But in their mind, it's allowing them to eat like shit. But MJ DeMarco, yep. Jay, is there an optimal time under tension for hypertrophy and strength? Or as long as you recruit fatigue on muscle fibers, time under tension is not the most important factor. You want it within two minutes. Anywhere between... 20 seconds and two minutes, pretty much all the same, pretty much all the same. When you start to go above two minutes, uh, the load is not challenging enough to where the slow twitch motor units start to fatigue and come back in to play, and it makes it harder to get to the fast twitch. Golden Era Physics System, Physique, a monthly subscription or permanent pay? You just pay once you have access to the videos and any new videos I put into it. Pull it out. You're being annoyed. Go. You're already peeped. No, 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 no. Go. My dog has been on some shit the last couple of days. Been really annoying. Does having a certain amount of muscle mass relative to your height and weight stress out your heart? Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, if you have way too much muscle, your heart is going to be working a lot harder. So like bodybuilders, their hearts are fucked. <laughs> but if you're like my size, you're big, but you're not like bodybuilder big, you're fine. Uh, but we, when you get to like 240, 250, 260, 270 pounds of muscle, yeah, your heart's going to be working hard. Didn't Napoleon Hill recommend retention? Listen, if you find an individual that provides value to you, you don't need to follow everything they say blindly. You can take useful parts and you don't need to agree with everything they say. Um, if Napoleon Hill recommended retention, I don't fucking agree with that. I think it's really dumb. My resting heart rate is about 48. I don't do cardio outside of walking my dogs, but I do work out. Art. Yeah. See? Ha! What is your opinion on leg extension machines? Something is damaging to the knees. Other things has benefits. If anyone ever tells you a leg extension machine is damaging to the machine, or tells you a leg extension machine is damaging to the knees, they are a complete fucking fool. What is the lowest rep range that's sufficient for hit? Like if someone can only do three pull-up steps, is that enough to grow muscle? Yeah. You don't need a rep to grow muscle. You could hold the weight out. You could push against something that doesn't move. You don't need any rates, reps. But do you really think stretching the hamstrings and hip flexors is pointless? No. Not all the time. Before a workout, yes. 
Like if I want to train more time and flexibility for higher kicks, in that case, you probably want to stretch the hamstrings and hip flexors. Um, like Drew Bay said, if you sit around a lot, you're probably going to want to stretch them to avoid them remaining in those contracted positions. No, they're not completely, they're, they're, they serve a purpose for certain activities. They don't serve a purpose in exercise. Stretching is not exercise. They do not need to be done after or before exercise or during. But if you want to increase your range of motion for something like kicking, yeah. Fifty-five kilos. How much do I have to eat to bulk? Possible to say, bro. Got to join my coaching. What do you think of CT Fletcher and his training style overtraining? Will they run massive amounts of steroids? They're just they might they might be the dumbest motherfuckers on the planet. You can do if you're on a ton of steroids like them, you can do whatever the hell you want. Can I do two back exercises if I want a bigger back or stick with just one? I would do a vertical pull and horizontal pull. <laughs> Uncle Sam taxes body weight exercise at 5% and other exercises at 20. That's clever. That's a good joke. Might go over a lot of heads, but I got you. Let's see. I don't know if you say something about only dumbbells and cables because that's what I have available at home. You can... Yeah, I mean, they're not in the HIT home workout program. That's in the Golden Era system, which is also in the description. Please upload more videos about dumbbells and simple cables. Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> no, those videos are for my programs. What is your opinion on research suggesting lower myostatin levels and an increase in muscle protein synthesis when training more frequently. Well, the problem is when this research is conducted, the level of intensity during their research is nowhere fucking near the level of intensity in the training method I suggest. So you can't even compare them. They have higher frequency workouts while the workout is very low intensity and low demanding. So obviously more frequent shitty workouts are going to be more effective than less frequent shitty workouts. But you can't compare that to the type of workouts I suggest. They're not even close. So pointless. Apples to oranges. Can't even compare them. It's like comparing fucking cars to airplanes. It's not even close. That's, you can't compare my recommendation, recommendations to a lot of research because they're not doing this in the research. They're not training to failure. They're not training with longer set durations. Um, they're not training with the near level of intensity that my program suggests or that I train. So it's pointless to compare them. It's not even the same thing. Is it okay to do upper two days in a row than two days off? Fuck no. That's horrible. Why? You should never do a workout two days in a row. All right. Let's see. How long did it take you to reach such a low resting heart rate? I'm at 70. You want to get to 60. You'll get there. I have no idea. I didn't even know what my resting heart rate was until I got an Apple Watch. And it showed me. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. It's probably been like that for a decade. What are your thoughts about core exercises? Are they necessary? The term core is a bullshit term. The core, and Drew explained this in, in our interview, the core refers to the center of something. The core of the earth is the center. The core of your body would be your intestines. <laughs> so we're not working our intestines here, are we? We're talking about muscles of the midsection. 
a trunk, a midsection trunk flexion and back extension. Those will work all of the muscles in your midsection. That's all you need. Why are soccer players like skinny if they use them every day? Because volume doesn't equal growth. And that's a perfect example. If more volume meant more muscle growth, then soccer players' legs would be so fucking big that they couldn't walk now, wouldn't they? Also genetics. Um... What do you think about calisthenics and calisthenic YouTubers? Calisthenic YouTubers are retards. They're not calisthenics. They're bodyweight exercises. The calisthenic YouTube community might be as dumb as CrossFit. It's so stupid. It's unbelievable. Have you trained anyone with knee arthritis? All the fucking time. When you train them, do you use a leg extension and slow rep speeds? Yeah. Everybody I've trained with knee pain on my leg extension machine, machines with slow repetition, sometimes limited range of motion, their knee pain went away within a couple of weeks. It went away for good. <laughs> Are those people doing semen retention while they got a girlfriend? Semen retention is just uh, an excuse for not getting laid. Ace. Sorry, I had to tell my dog something special. Would you recommend cardio for sports like boxing and Muay Thai? The problem is what people are considering cardio. Do you run in boxing? No. Do you run when you're doing Muay Thai? No. So why the fuck are you running to improve those sports? That's like an NFL wide receiver juggling to improve his ability to catch a football. It's like an NFL wide receiver riding a unicycle because he thinks it'll make him better at running routes. Literally, it's the same thing. When you train upper body, do you only do one chest exercise? You usually combine chest press and the pec fly. I like doing both the chest press and the pec fly, merely preference. I probably would see the same benefit doing one or the other. That's just what I want to do. Would you ever make a video with Michael Tren? I think putting him through his paces would make a great video. Michael Tren is also a big pussy, and I don't think he would ever go through one of my workouts because it would make him look very, very weak. How much is your coaching program? I discovered your channel through Body by Science. Uh, Nate, email me at jvincentfitness at gmail.com. And um, we can talk about my coaching program. Please compare real squats versus the static method using moving straps, which each build the same amount of muscle strength yes can the tonal electric resistance machine provide effective resistance i don't know never used it do you have any other fitness youtubers like you i should listen to by the way i found you through john anthony lifestyle no there are no other fitness youtubers to my knowledge that know what the fuck they're talking about. And the reason is everything they learned about exercise comes from NSCA, NASM, CSCS, all these organizations that have outdated, stupid, ridiculous curriculum. So that's where they learned their information on exercise, not realizing that most of what they learned is wrong. Um, one day, people will realize everything they thought was wrong. Um, you know, there was a period of time where 
to get rid of headaches, people were drilling holes in people's skulls to let the demons out. And back then, everybody thought that was right. We look at that now, and it's ridiculous. One day, people will know that multiple set training is whatever. Ridiculous. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me today. We're at about an hour. My dog is pacing because he's a jerk, and he probably has to go out. Um, so today only sale. The hit home workout, giving it away for 37 bucks. It's got a bunch of new videos in it. Exercises that you can do at home and will give you a ridiculously good workout at home with little to no equipment at all. So if you like training at home or, for instance, maybe the gym's kind of far and one day a week you want to go to the gym, one day a week you want to train at home, you can mix them up. But these are the most effective exercises that you can do at home. How much does it grow your arm? course uh i think it's 67 and then i have the advanced arm training too these are all in the description i think i have that one for 67. all right how to get certifications to be a hit trainer if you want to be a hit trainer you should join my vip coaching and i will teach you how to i do that as part of my coaching too um and then you just need some bullshit certification just so a gym will let you train it uh, but there isn't to my knowledge, any accredited HIT certification training. You just need a mentor and someone to teach you how to do it. And I do that. Um, you know. If you guys are interested in my VIP coaching, uh, 12 weeks, I teach you everything about high-intensity training, exercise science, biomechanics, programming, nutrition, everything in 12 weeks. Unlimited access to me in my VIP coaching program, unlimited access to me to ask questions through my group chat and um, 12 weeks long. So if you really want fast, fast results, I can help you get there by coaching you in person. And if you just want to learn everything there is to learn about high intensity training and everything there is to learn about actual exercise, email me, jvincentfitness at gmail.com. And uh, we'll talk about the uh, VIP coaching. So far, the transformations in my VIP coaching are drastic. Why? Because I personally guide you along the way. All right. So, again, don't forget to like, subscribe, bell icon, all that bullshit. Again, interested in coaching, email me there. Um, there's also going to be a link in the description. And again, today, hit home workout, 37 bucks. Give it a try. All right. You'll be very, very happy trying these freaking exercises. They'll, they'll destroy you and keep you safe. All right. See you guys in a couple days. I uh, got a couple new videos coming out soon. And uh, be sure to pay attention to the channel. Got some cool shit coming out. Adios.